Hey guys, it's Dan Ferris, editor of Extreme Value. I just saw a headline that inspired this video, and it said the Dow hit 25,000 for the first time. People get really excited about this kind of stuff, and a lot of them think it's great, and they get very optimistic. But they forget that what happens is that risk and price in the stock market rise together. So the higher the Dow goes, the higher the risk goes. And it's kind of perverse when you think about it because everybody thinks the opposite, don't they? They think, wow, the market's going up, so everything's great. And the higher it goes, the more wonderful everything is. And the exact opposite is true. The higher it goes, the worse it is. It's sort of like the lower interest rates go the worse it is for investors. Of course, that's what we're talking about here. The higher the stock market goes, the worse it is for investors. The higher the bond market goes, the worse it is for investors. The higher any price of any income producing asset goes, the worse it is for investors. Because what determines your return, as all rational value-oriented investors know? The price you pay, of course. So celebrating as the Dow goes through 25,000, it's kind of like, um, you know, you're, you're kind of like celebrating that you're about to break your leg because you're skiing faster than you've ever skied in your life or something like that. It's just a little bit crazy and you need to be very, more than a little bit careful. And I continue to give the same three pieces of practical advice to my readers which are, first, hold plenty of cash. Cash is a call option on all kinds of wonderful future deals that have yet to come your way. And the more of it you have, the better off you'll be. The better your portfolio will perform in a downturn and the more opportunity you'll be able to take advantage of after the downturn. Number two, I'm recommending that people short weak businesses, deteriorating businesses. We shorted some retailers last year and did pretty well. Um, we're short an advertising company in the newsletter in Extreme Value. And those are the kind of things uh, that you should go after on the short side. On the long side, it's real easy. If the stock isn't priced for a good return, don't buy it. If you don't have an adequate margin of safety, don't buy it. It's that simple. And of course, you know, this isn't the place to get into the details of what that really means. We do that every month in Extreme Value and in our monthly updates as well. So, you know, be careful. Don't celebrate because the Dow went through 25,000. Put the brakes, touch, you know, tap the brakes a little bit and be careful and make sure you're not overpaying for equities. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.